I want to get a dozen bagels from my friend uh, Yehuda Chatsky and Chetsky Malamed. I know, Chetsky Malamed. I'll share them with, I promise I'll share some with Chesky Malamed. If I get there before Pesach. I don't know, as long as these bagels get there before Pesach, that's the main thing. These are the real bagels. The bagels. The bagels, I got, the, I got dressed up for the occasion. Mm. How, how does the guy uh, in the... Vi- it's uh, 12 o'clock after Shom Zachar. I got these bagels shipped from Montreal by a very friend of Hashem Vachamishi, this Jew from South Africa. And uh, I'm going to take some of these bagels to Crown Heights for some chaster and share them with Chesky Malamed. Honestly, nothing would be uh, a bigger blessing. Shalom Aleichem. They don't have a Shabbos elevator? Yeah, that's... <laughs> you want me to do it? No, he's, he's going to come. Cheers. Thanks, man. No worries. Why? Good Shabbos. There was a, there was a, I think when you were in your shiva, one of the, the teachers or your rabbi at the time, uh, he went up to a classmate or, or a girl that, that you knew, maybe the same age or something, and he warned her that she cannot hang out with you. It wasn't when I was in yeshiva. We had no classmates that were girls. We were not co Of course, of course. Sorry. We couldn't even talk to a girl that we liked. We, we were petrified. This was a girl in L.A. after I was single in my late 20s. A single Jewish guy, and just because I was raised in the same Orthodox system as him, and he was married already with kids and on his Chabad Shlichus at the University of CSUN, he felt that because I came out of the Chabad system, so there's no, I have no business with a regular traditional girl. I either marry a damaged girl from inside a system, like someone indoctrinated, or I just uh, dry up and basically be wasted on the side of the road. He didn't see that I couldn't choose a regular Jewish girl. So the way you saw the video is that we were in yeshiva and some rabbi said, don't talk to this guy, but it was totally when we were both adults and on sure, our I own. mean, I, I know... So you see I, how you've, you viewed the video. Now you understand what it was. That's my interpretation. The right? rabbi was a classmate of mine. He's a good guy. This is what believers do. Believers behave that way. He didn't think, I want to be cruel today. Wake up in the morning, put on his gartel and his talus and say, today I'm going to fuck somebody. It wasn't what happened. What happened was he was saying what he was taught, like a robot. If it's not like a robot, what is it then? He was just doing what he was taught. But I appreciate the, 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 the outside perspective. You see, whatever you see, you ain't see nothing yet. That's what I. That's, 100%. You're, you're seeing it like we were my, in, my like we're in a Jewish school and we're having some little issues. When it's way beyond that, sure. way beyond that. My we, interpretation clearly was yeah. was nowhere near the reality of what. I uh, you're asking me if I respect the Rebbe because I've seen the Rebbe and I've got blessings, dollars, and all that. Yeah, I know. Uh, generally, you're very respectful, but a lot of the material you put out there, you're sort of uh, there's meaning behind a lot of it. You see, Some of it maybe is irreverence, maybe irreverence, irreverence. When you ask me, I. I they say Jews answer a question with a question. You ask me if I respect the Rebbe. It's a, it's a loaded question. My, my question back is respect him for what? If he, if he, if any, if you, if he did something good, I respect good. So it's not a, so automatically I respect him for the good he, he did. But what good did he do? That's a good question. I'm curious myself. Did he make humans who are naturally helpful, goodness and kindness? Did he uh, sophisticate them so they can help? on a more uh, advanced level like science and engineering or did he spread more religion and more medieval beliefs what did I, he do I for the, the world ladder. so 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 i i could respect him for anything he did maybe he made time for me but what did the time for me do he, he, he I, my birthday i went to him and i told him hi it's my birthday and he gives me a blessing you could say that was in, instead of my grandfather i had the rebbe because my grandfather was in russia the rebbe kept my grandfather in russia because he wanted him to be part of his mission there so, so, uh, but, but in the end of that, after the blessings and the, the, the honey cake and all that stuff that he did, and we stood and watched him for hours, we couldn't hear what he was saying, we could have done something more useful with our time. What do I respect him for? That's the question. Absolutely. So, Brilliant question. So not, I'm, I'm leaving it open, you know, for anyone to, 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 to enlighten me or surprise me. I'm leaving it open. You know, maybe Nehemiah Deitch can tell me uh, uh, why I, I should respect the Rebbe and why anyone should. Well, you know, any, any human being, you don't have to be Jewish to love the Rebbe. If the Rebbe did something good, like they say, there's a myth, they say he was uh, involved with food stamps for poor people, as if the government doesn't have enough wheat, wheat to feed its citizens. I mean, since Stalin, governments have been feeding their peasants. 
Get in, get in, Sadiq. This is a fancy machine. Look at us. This is Lucky us Yerada. tonight. He's a Talmud Chacham. Yeah. Look at us tonight. We had a be the best time. Here, let's just do that. Just give, give her the ring already. Welcome to Sheni Vechameshi. We're the first <laughs> to get engaged on Sheni Vechameshi. Wow, Mazel Tov. <laughs> Yehuda, look at this. I found a real believer. How are you, Yehuda? A real Talmud Chacham what over here. A real Rabbi Dolphin, you see our sign. A real Bukhar over here. I'm not a Bukhar, I'm married with two kids. Okay, but... he was a Bukhar at one point. <laughs> Video it? Yeah. Yehuda, what's going on? So, first of all, I think you were friendly with my cousin, Dolphin from Crown Heights. I believe do, so. Do you know uh, Chatzki Malamed? But also, Yassi Harlig, brother-in-law, married a Chatzkalavich. That's our connection. Yeah, oh, Melech. Okay, there's lots of Cheskalaviches. I mean, no, he's got him. he's got six siblings. Yeah, he's from Crown Heights. <laughs> when I see Husky, I feel a bitch. <laughs> Husky happens to be one of the sexiest guys in Lubavitch. Uda, I want to wish you a good Shabbos. We're having a little kiddush and a little lechaim with a little maska. A bit of chulin. I see chashki, I see lubavitch, baby. A bit of tongue, a bit of turkey, some chicken nuggets, some kugel, and Avramovinu sandwich. We have tongue and mustard. This is the mustard that Avramovini had.